Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Miniart and as you can guess it is modded in 135 scale and it copies B-type omnibus from London 1919 so it barely fits into the frame but it's because of the vertical layout of this box art if I flip it to just like this you will see whole box art but you have to do some head turning let's say so this is a commercial sample it's already available in all good model shops I know that Mini, uh, Modelimax has them for sure and we are going to open it together with you and we are going to check what is actually supplied here and because this is a commercial sample it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review and let's check it so first of all box size is typical for mini art kits don't be confused by the vertical box art it is still the same as typical tank kits from mini art it is quite heavy what hints on a big parts count let's say I can see that there are P parts included decal sheet obviously and figures are not included even though they are depicted on the box art Next we go on here with safety advices and address of the manufacturer, barcode, QR code, all the codes. And here we have also 8 marking options, but as you can see they are different mostly with these various ads on the buses, so it will be up to you which one you choose. But they look really cool and of course it is nice that manufacturer decided to include such variety out of the box. This is a top opening box and here is what we have inside, so I wouldn't say it's tight packaging, but still it would be good to have some extra space on the top. As you can see everything is packed into the same plastic bag and we also have assembly manual on the bottom, but we will check first plastic sprues which are supplied in this sealed plastic bag so that's why I'm going to do opening of the camera because I will be using scissors so just give me a second and straight away I can see that it is more or less the same as what we had in the B-type omnibus previous releases and in case you missed those I recommend to check video reviews on our YouTube channel because this previous versions were also quite interesting and they might be handy for some diorama ideas in case you don't want a civil version. So here we have first component of this kit, it's a small envelope with mini art logo. So if we open it we have, where is it, just give me a second, it's P fret is as wide as this envelope so that's why it is almost impossible to remove it I am not sure who decided to do this stuff but actually when you are trying to remove it that's what's happening it's really tight and it was actually I would say stored like this and it's not such a cool thing to see so just to keep um, note of this be careful while removing it out of the this paper envelope I would rather tear it apart and remove P thread intact because as you can see otherwise you will have to bend it in order to get it out but P parts are quite typical so there is nothing to complain about they're unpainted so you'll be able to cover them in whatever paint shape you would like to and of course they will add some fine details to your model in 135 scale it will be noticeable so what I'm doing at the moment, I'm opening another plastic bag, here we have clear plastic sprues, so here is one, then we have pair of identical plastic sprues which are used for various glasses on this bus, so I will show you only one, and as you can see molding quality seems to be fine, but from what I can see there are no masks included, so you will have to cut everything with your own hands, and I really hope that mini art will start um, to include various masks templates into their assembly manual so it will be easier to work with such parts. Here we have decal sheet, it comes from Decograph, as you can see printing quality looks nice, we have here all necessary symbols for these several uh, marking options, as you remember there were 8 of them. Next we go on with first grey plastic sprue, so this one is dedicated to various I would say body parts, so let's zoom out. Now you should be able to see. Let's open the camera a bit. Okay. 
So here we have these large panels which should be combined together and molding quality seems to be fine so it's just a matter of careful separation. Parts attachments are really thin so I don't think you will have any possible issues. But be careful with these thin parts because they're really easy to break. Here we have more of them here as well. So it will be, uh, I would say, test of your skills because you have to be extra careful with such elements even though they're wrapped in the foam in the packaging out of the box still it is easy to break them next we go on with bigger panels so these ones are external ones and as you can see we have roof panel also here we have the floor panel side panels with these cutouts for clear sections we have one piece ladders and also leather panels and again we have here this thin arm rails so you have to be careful with them as well and there are a lot of attachment points to sew off so do not use plastic cutter with this otherwise you end up with not that pleasant surprise I would say Next we go on with one, two, three, four identical plastic sprues. So here they are and I will show you only one. So here we have various seat parts for this bus. So obviously it will be detailed inside as well. So that's why they are supplied in such amount. And molding quality seems to be fine. Again we have thin parts here and there. But if you will invest some time into painting and weathering these parts, you will end up with a really good looking result and you won't need any figures because even empty bus should be an interesting model to have. Next we have four more identical plastic sprues, so here they are. They're shaped in a quite interesting design, so here you can see them. And this, as far as I can guess, are interior seats because as you can see they're soft and they have this nice imitation of the fabric cushions and they look really nice. So here I would play with various weathering techniques because otherwise it won't be noticeable that you have this special finish here. Next we go on with two plastic sprues and with these ones I would recommend to check them if you have a chance because as you can see here we have front wheel arches they're molded as a single piece parts and it can happen that due to the tight packaging you can get them broken as you can see I was lucky to get them intact but from time to time it happens so be careful and keep it in mind next we go on with two more identical plastic sprues here they are here we have wheel arches and wheels so just give me a sec. Okay, so here you can see them. First of all, it's really go good that we have plastic wheels included here instead of typical vinyl bonuses. Also, we have this wheel arch is molded as a single piece part, so it means you get the right alignment out of the box. And all these minor features look really cool. But they will require installation with special tools because otherwise it will be really tricky to handle them with bare fingers. Next we go on with another plastic sprue. This one will be used for the rails on the top. And again it's really nice to have them as a one piece parts. Okay. One more plastic sprue is dedicated to various engine parts and drivetrain. Here you can see that they look okay. It will depend again on your painting skills. And as far as I remember there was no option to do open the bonnet, but we will see it in assembly manual. Maybe I'm wrong and confusing it with other kit. Next we have one more, I would say, connection between two sprues. So as you can see this is a mix of various parts for external and internal detailing and again we have a lot of thin and small parts so keep track of them and do not lose them because you need them and there are no spare elements whatsoever so you get one chance only next we have last grey plastic sprue so this one is dedicated to the main frame bars here we also have various panels here and there, again some parts for the engine here, some leaf springs for the suspension 
and everything looks fine I can zoom in a bit so that you can check all these parts closer here they are and as I said attachment points are really thin so here I mean you are improving and it means that it will be easy to separate these parts just do not use plastic cutters okay and last but not the least is the assembly manual so it is printed in form of mini art brochure quite typical format for them it is printed in color as you can notice we have short list of the features and here you can see marking options and it depends on the advert as I said before so more of this next we go on with colors chart then we have parts map and as usual Miniart does not highlight any unused parts so keep track of the necessary parts and assembly process starts with engine as you can see it will be installed right on the, the mainframe together with some suspension elements next we continue with drivetrain wheel axles here we have radiator grill which will be installed into this bonnet section let's say as you can see front one next we continue with various levers for the suspension here we install again some parts for the drivetrain wheel assembly is involves several parts five to be exact and here we have the final one it's sixth next we continue with assembly of the front cabin as you can see there will be also some PE parts for this tags on the bonnet panels and yes there is an option to open the bonnet on your vehicle so you will be able to show the engine compartment some others will appreciate such feature because it will be handy for some diorama ideas next we start to work on the passenger compartment as you remember it gets assembled out of separate panels it should be relatively easy because there are special guiding elements which will help you with proper alignment still I would recommend to check everything twice here we continue with these special seats on the top as you can see they get installed here and there and then we start assembling these special leathers which are quite famous on this bus we also get to install PE parts so actually I think these PE parts will be used here on the leather next we have wheel arches so these ones are actually rear parts not the front ones okay next we continue with installation of the wheels and also this special protection so it is on the bottom not on the top as I said before and it's really nice to see that here we install wheels on the last steps it's not just like you get wheels installed in the middle of the assembly process and then you have to rearrange whole assembly process because you are not following the assembly manual here we continue with marking guide with different ads here and there so as you can see there are several versions for the front side and rear which is really cool you can let's say combine them in different options here we also have two previous kits which we reviewed on our youtube channel so you can find easily a video review on our youtube channel or review article on our website here we have these ads which are printed on the paper so you have to cut them off and glue on your model as you can see they are printed on one white sheet so they should be fine and that's pretty much all so I will be happy to hear your opinion about such kit here in the comment section below there is also a special join button so that you can support us financially with help of small donations and I will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye